Okay, guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be telling you is a blue tongue skink the best bed I've ever seen. Let's hop into this video. So, here is the blue tongue skink. Okay, so now he's not the nice. Nice blue tongue. Get over here. She's my nice blue tongue skink. She's my little girl skinky. Skinka, skinky. They are very beautiful creatures. So we're going to go over four or five categories. Expensiveness, availability, handleability, handleability, upfront costs, and bite. So let's start with bite. She's gonna hide under there. Okay, I got bit by her this morning. If you can just see it. I don't think you can. That's all the little bumps right there. The bite does hurt pretty bad, I'm not gonna lie. It feels like getting your finger slammed in the door. Yeah, it does. It feels like getting your hand slammed in the door. And, uh, I give their bite force, uh, three out of five. It's pretty bad. Now let's go for costs. Blue tongue skinks are not cheap. Especially, it depends on what kind of morph she's in. Indonesian, basic, normal. This is what she would look like. This is what they would look like if you found one in the wild. In Indonesian. In the wild. So, and she was about $300. So, they get Blue tongue skinks rating, they get it 2 out of 5. They're pretty bad. They're expensive. Now, let's go for how much their tank stuff costs. See, yeah, they need a, to be in a 120 gallon. Sure, not cheap. They're like $1,000. Yeah, so, uh, we're not done. They need a UBV. They need, like, a 95 degree basking spot. They are not cheap, so I give it probably... The two out of five. Yes. Two out of five. And, um. They're not cheap. So, now let's go over the handleability. What are you looking at? Um. They're not the. They're pretty good at handling. Mine's a little feisty. She really is in that color. She looks in the video. She's a lot darker. That's going on her back. So, now let's go over handle ability. I give the blue tongue skink a 3 out of 5. They are not the nicest lizard you can probably own. But... Now let's go over awesomeness. I give the blue tongue skin a 5 out of 5. They are pretty darn awesome looking. Because, yeah, like, they're cool looking. They're awesome. Look at those orange little eyes. Skinky. Orange little eyes. Let's get some focus. That just looks scary. Okay, I can't get a good focus. Let's focus on that. Perfect. That's what she really looks like. So, yeah. Um, what would we on? Awesomeness. Five out of five. So now let's go over to hardiness. There, I give them a three out of five. They're not, they're pretty tough. Pretty tough. I don't know if you're going to put a kid, even though, on cleanse reptiles. 
Uh, he said they're not the best reptile for kids. They're not. I would not recommend using these for your kids. Well, even though I'm 11 or like 10, I'm like 10. I have one. Yeah, my mom wasn't thinking. Well, and it was kind of a birthday present. But I have a lot of reptiles. So. Yeah, and now let's do available. Availability. They're pretty simple to find. They're probably found at the, your local pet store, like Petco. Don't poop in my sheets, please. And, well, yeah. They're pretty cool lizards. They need a pretty big enclosure. The Bhutan Skink, in general, I give them a 5 out of 10. Big old pet. I, you think about it, I'm Titus, and you're watching Bad Boys Lizard Channel. See you later, and don't forget to like.